Hey friend, this is Anil and in this video we will learn how we can create collection view that is horizontal sorry vertical collection view. So here you can see I have already created for my uh, project. So the same collection view I will let you know how we can create. Okay. So here you can see I have added few items only and all the data I have added uh, like uh, hard coded but if you want you can get the data from apis and you can load the data as a async call okay so let's move on to the studio and here i will add a view sorry in a view i will add a content page so that will be collection view So for collection view, you don't need to do anything, only add a content page over here. Okay, remove this label. Now add a collection view over here. Or we can remove this stack layout also. Collection view. And here provide the name of this collection view as call one and item source equals to binding and here we will provide our binding list name okay so let's move on backend view so here i will create a class public class and this will be suppose product okay so inside the product I will use three property like uh, product public string product name get set and the same way I will use two more property. How many property or whatever data you want to display, you can display as per the requirement. Description and this will be image URL. Okay, so three things I want to display over here. Here I will define a list. I list and I will pass the product class okay now I will initialize it I list equals to new list and here I will pass my class cool now I will add few entries over here dot add and dot add new product here first I'll provide the product name equals to Suppose here I am providing the hard code value laptop and second is description equals to this is Sony laptop. Okay, and the third thing is image URL. 
So from there you will get the image URL. For that, I have added few images over here. You can see in my project, just copy and paste the image in go in sorry this is my android and go in resource inside the resource in enjoyable you can use this image so here i have added the image for laptop here you can see laptop.jpg or i have also added few images in png also so here i'm going to use laptop.jpg Cool. So this is my first product has been added over here. Okay. If I want to add 4 to 5, then I will change the name only because we have to scroll our gallery also. So here I will use suppose uh, LED and here I will use uh, what kind of images I have laptop LED or uh, mixer and I have mobile and speaker mobile speaker okay i will remove but either we can put this also maybe the record will be duplicated but we can understand okay so here what is the image name the same image name we have to put led.jpg led and mixer and here is speaker sorry this will be mobile this is mixer and this is speaker and this will be the laptop only. okay now i will add a line binding context equals to this means it will prefer to the current object okay and here in the collection view i will pass this i list okay and here i will put a data template Inside the data template, I will use the grid view. And here I already told you what is the grid view and how we can define the grid dot row definition and grid dot height definition. And row definition we will provide the height. So we are using the only two rows. We'll let you know why we are using two rows. So in a two rows. Here I am putting like uh, 3 is to 1. This will be our first row. And this will be our second row. Here I will define the grid dot column definition. Inside the column definition we have to use two columns only okay column definition dot width 
equals to we are going to use 2 is to 2 fine now here I will define the image source equals to bind and we will bind by the image URL okay and grid dot row equals to zero and grid dot call span equals to two okay so the image has been completed now I will use the label text equals to binding and here we will bind the text name by product name and description okay this is the product name row 0 and column 1 this will be basically 2 is to 2 and this is will be description description will be in second row sorry this is the zero row and this is the first row and this will be column one and here we have to define grid dot row span also two okay now i will run this application first i will put that in app.xml as our page that is collection view okay now i will run the application so it will take few seconds to running the application for that i'm is skipping the video we are getting one error also collection view Collection view is an ambiguous reference online shopping. Okay, I think we have already a same page with the collection view. Collection view. We can change the name actually. We will do it as collection view one dot XML. So here where we have to change we have to do it collection view 1 and here this will be collection view 1 and this will also collection view 1 okay so now we will run this application again so it will take few minutes to running the application for that I'm is skipping the video fine so here you can see this is the output now we have to correct the output so what we are doing first we have to because we want to image in first row and the first column is in two rows and first column so for that we will not use the call span we will use only the row span okay so the image will become in first and second row and here for the column span we have to use only the grid dot call and grid dot 
columns okay now what we have to do here in the grid we will define the padding so padding equals to 10 and margin equals to 10 and this will be a layout items layout equals to vertical layout vertical list layout and here This will be grid dot column equals to zero. Okay. Now, so for the separator, we will use box view. So in box view, here we have to define height. And we define we have to define the row also. So this will be our third row. Okay, so this will be 1.5 and this will be 0.5. And the box view having grid dot row equals to 1. This is row 0 this is row 1 and this will be row 2 okay and here we will define the background color equals to dark gray okay so here you can see our collection view is ready okay but here you can see the laptop is going on top so for that we will use this as 1.5 and this will be as one okay and sorry it will be one now yes so here we are getting the expected output and the height request we can do little bit small so that will be 150 only okay so here your collection gallery is ready okay so suppose if you want to add product over here from the database then you can use your database also and from database you can use this you can bind the product also okay so i hope you like my video and if you like my video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye